What if we could mix human DNA with animal DNA and insert it as sperm? What might we create? Let's venture into this hypothetical scenario together. Imagine a world where cutting-edge genetic engineering allows us to combine the DNA of humans and animals to create hybrid beings. The outcomes, as you might guess, would be wildly unpredictable and varied. Physically, we could be looking at entities with a mix of human and animal features. Imagine the strength of a gorilla or the agility of a cheetah, coupled with the physical characteristics of a human. On the behavioral front, we could see entities that blend human intelligence with animal instincts, a fascinating, if not somewhat daunting, proposition. But this is no simple science fiction plot. It's a hypothetical scenario that invites us to question our understanding of life and evolution. As we delve into this realm of the unknown, we must brace ourselves for a myriad of possibilities. Imagine a being with the strength of a gorilla, the agility of a cheetah, and the intelligence of a human. This is the mind-boggling concept we're exploring today in our hypothetical scenario of human-animal hybrids. Let's dive deeper into what these beings might physically look like. Picture an entity embodying a blending of traits, a mashup of human and animal characteristics. The possibilities are as endless as they are fascinating. You might envision hybrids with the physical strength of the most robust animals on our planet. Consider the immense power of a grizzly bear or the muscular endurance of a horse. Alternatively, think about the speed and agility from the animal kingdom. Imagine a human-animal hybrid capable of running with the speed of a cheetah or climbing with the dexterity of a monkey. But we're not just talking about raw physical power or agility. What about the unique adaptations some animals have? Could our hypothetical hybrids possess the regenerative abilities of a starfish or the echolocation skills of a bat? The benefits of these physical traits are evident. Enhanced strength could lead to remarkable athletic performances, while heightened senses could open up entirely new ways to perceive the world. Unique adaptations could provide survival advantages or even pave the way for new forms of communication and interaction. However, these potential benefits come with their own set of challenges. How would society adapt to beings with such enhanced capabilities? How would we ensure fairness in areas like sports or physical labor? Moreover, there's the question of how these traits would manifest. Would they be dominant or recessive? Would they appear immediately or evolve over generations? The unpredictability of genetic expression adds another layer of complexity to our hypothetical scenario. In the end, the extent to which these traits manifest would be a game of genetic roulette. The possibilities are endless. The potential is staggering, but so are the challenges and ethical considerations. As we continue to push the boundaries of genetic research, it's crucial to keep these questions in mind. Beyond physical traits, we must consider the behavioral implications of such hybrids. The intersection of human intelligence and animal instincts could lead to a wide array of behaviors, some anticipated, others completely unforeseen. Imagine a being possessing the cognitive abilities of a human, able to think, reason and problem solve, yet also guided by the primal instincts of an animal. Such a creature might exhibit an uncanny blend of human-like behaviors such as social interaction, communication and learning, coupled with animalistic tendencies like hunting, foraging or territoriality. Consider, for instance, a hybrid with feline DNA. This creature might show an inclination towards independence and aloofness, much like a typical house cat, yet also display human-like social behaviors. Or think of a hybrid with canine genes, which might exhibit unwavering loyalty and a pack mentality combined with human-like empathy and understanding. The environment would also play a crucial role in shaping these behaviors. Would a hybrid, for example, feel more at home in the wild, driven by its animal instincts? Or would it be more comfortable in a human-like setting, guided by its human cognition? Interactions with other beings, both human and animal, would also be a fascinating area to explore. Would these hybrids form social bonds with humans, their animal counterparts, or with other hybrids? And how would these relationships affect their behaviors and their understanding of their identity? The potential behavioral patterns of such hybrids present a vast and complex tapestry of possibilities, each one more intriguing than the last. The combination of human intelligence with animal instincts could lead to unique behavioral characteristics, presenting a fascinating, albeit hypothetical, exploration into the realm of genetics. The behavioral outcomes of such a venture remain an intriguing enigma. As we delve deeper into this hypothetical scenario, 
we must also turn our attention to the ethical and societal implications of creating such beings, which we will explore in the next segment. Creating such hybrids would not be without its ethical and societal challenges. If we were to cross the boundaries of species, we would not only be venturing into uncharted scientific territory, but also navigating through a complex maze of ethical, legal and moral dilemmas. The very act of creating such hybrids would provoke intense debates. There would be those who argue that manipulating the genetic fabric of life in such a way is playing God, breaching fundamental ethical boundaries. Others might contend that it's an inevitable part of scientific progress, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the quest for knowledge and potential benefits. Legally, the status of these beings would be a contentious issue. If they possess human intelligence, should they not have the same rights as us? Would they be considered a new species, or would they fall under the jurisdiction of existing animal welfare laws? These questions would challenge our existing legal frameworks, forcing us to rethink our definitions of personhood and rights. From a moral standpoint, concerns about the potential exploitation of these beings would be rife. If they exhibit enhanced abilities or traits, there could be attempts to use them for certain tasks, or even as commodities. This would raise serious questions about their autonomy and dignity, prompting us to consider what protections would need to be in place. Moreover, their integration and acceptance into society would be fraught with obstacles. How would we accommodate beings that straddle the line between human and animal? Would they be treated as equals? Or would they be marginalized and discriminated against? The societal impact of introducing such beings would be profound and far-reaching. We would be forced to confront our preconceived notions of what it means to be human, challenging our understanding of identity, community, and coexistence. As we ponder these implications, it is clear that the ethical and societal complexities of creating such hybrids are as vast and intricate as the genetic code itself. As we ponder this hypothetical scenario, we must keep in mind the practical and ethical considerations. We've journeyed through a thought experiment, exploring the possibility of mixing human and animal DNA and the potential outcomes this could yield. In terms of physical characteristics, we considered the potential for a blend of human and animal features. This could result in beings with enhanced senses, greater physical strength, or unique adaptations that neither humans nor the specific animal possess on their own. Yet it's important to remember, the manifestation of these traits would deeply depend on the genetic makeup and success of such an unprecedented experiment. We also speculated on the behavioral implications of these hybrids, hypothesizing a mix of human intelligence with animal instincts. This could lead to unique behavioral patterns and pose questions about how these beings would interact with their environment and each other. Beyond the scientific and biological implications, we also discussed the profound societal impact such a development could have. Introducing human-animal hybrids would ignite debates on ethical, legal and moral grounds.